it's okay, it's okay. We're gonna win this race and we're gonna show them who's a cat and who's a horse. Oh, hi there everybody. You just caught me and my little beautiful horsey uh, getting ready for next year's Kentucky Derby. We weren't allowed to compete this year because of uh, some stupid ordinances, some rules they have against small tiny horses as like this one. So we're gonna get ready, we're gonna get prepared for next year and we're gonna beat them, we're gonna destroy them and they're not gonna know what hit them. Isn't that right little baby? Okay, all right, so the next thing to test right now is to see if she can hold my weight. And huh, let's just say that I've been dieting and I'm pretty sure that she can hold my weight. You stay right there. Ready, here we go. It's working, okay. All right, all right, okay. <laughs> it's news time. Delivering to you the news you didn't know about, the news you didn't care about, and the news you didn't know you cared about. With host, Chad White. Now, here's that host, Chad White. Welcome back to News Time. I'm your host, Chad White, and this is the Kentucky Derby news that you didn't know about. Let's pretend that my cat enjoyed doing that. Also, uh, there were no animals hurt in the making of this. Whatever. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> the Kentucky Derby happened maybe, probably two weeks ago at this point. I don't know. I've been putting out episodes left and right because I need to catch up. Kentucky Derby is a uh, real racing event, and it's been happening for, I believe, 167, 162, 167 years, upwards of 160 years, all right? People dress like this, and uh, let's not lie, I got a really, really good outfit, a really good make em up Brown hat, uh, black and white pants, <laughs> brown wristwatch. That's right, I change the watch every video. Let's see if you can count it. Anyway, I'm padding right now. Uh, it lasts about two minutes, but it provides so much pleasure. The race, that is, not me, uh, but also both me and the race. Uh, beginning, it's the beginning of the Triple Crown, and there are three races which, in which there are three races that are basically done back to back. It's kind of like how uh, Serena Williams was gonna win all of the, the most important uh, tennis <laughs> matches in the world at that time. I forgot what that's called, but the, it, the first one of the, uh, is uh, the, uh, the, the, the one that we're talking about, <laughs> which is the Kentucky Derby. The second one's the Preakness Stakes, and then the third one is the Belmont Stakes. I had no idea Triple Crown existed, but I knew what it was. I didn't know what it was made up of, so that's good to see. Uh, Rich Strike was the winner for this year, and th that horse upset the race. Everybody was betting against that horse. However, they upset more upsets because Rich Strike and his jockey are saying, we're not going to do the Preakness. They decided to skip. Why? Because they can. And also because of other reasons that just, quite frankly, are boring. Uh, there's so much scandal with horse racing that they're really trying to make a comeback. And, you know, much like how the MLB was trying is trying to uh, gain viewership back, viewership numbers back. They're also, the, the Kentucky Derby and also all of horse racing is trying to avoid all the scandal. Now, usually there are things like you'll hear about doping. You know, like last year, there was a horse that I believe that won the, uh, the Kentucky Derby and uh, turns out like a, like a couple of days later that they had been doping. We've, we've heard about this type of stuff all the time, but uh, there's been drugs, cheating, and abuse. Uh, there's one thing where whipping can only be done twice in a row, twice in a row, up to six times. So you know when you see a jockey on a horse and they're whipping like that, they can only do it twice, and they can't do it any more other than that. <laughs> then they have to wait maybe a couple of seconds and then do it again. Um, there's a new self-regulatory act that is coming out of the, uh, out of the government uh, with the, the, the horse racing and everything. It's to improve the integrity and safety of horse racing by requiring a uniform anti-doping and medication control program to be developed and enforced by an independent horse racing anti-doping and medication control authority. So they're really taking into account the, the, the health of the horses so that jockeys and so that teams aren't really hurting, hurting the horses at all. Uh, they, 
from from the outside in, it really looks like how a NASCAR team can treat uh, the cars. You know, you can you can uh, ding up the car, you can crash it in some cases, you could uh, replace the engine and stuff. But for a horse, you can only do so much before you're actually hurting an animal. And it's good to see that these uh, that their government is stepping in, and that even some horse racing teams and, and everybody in between is really stepping in in order to help out uh, with the health of these horses. Uh, speaking of things that you can help out with, why don't you help out by subscribing and checking out one of our other videos? Of course, you can head to the website cpluscomedy.com where there are so many great things that they don't involve horse racing. <laughs> you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram at C Plus Comedy. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Chad Black White. Like us on Facebook. Listen to the Constitutionals podcast wherever you get your podcasts. And uh, looks like we got to get back to training for next year because next year we're going to win. We're winners, not losers. Ain't that right, baby?